Trouble setting up your new Vice Cam V4? Well, don't worry, we know just what you need to do to get your Vice camera all set to go in no time. So, stick around till the end of this video and check out all the troubleshooting steps that I mentioned to not miss out on the perfect fix for your predicament. Before even getting into setting up your Vice Cam V4, the first and probably the most important requirement is to check and ensure the Vice app is running on the most current version. Running an older Vice app can potentially run into issues like this. All you need to do is head over to the App Store on your phone and check for any pending updates for the Vice app from there. A proper power supply is crucial for any electronic gadget and in its absence, you might come face to face with plenty of obstacles. And the same goes for your Vice Cam V4 as well. Once you power up your Vice Cam V4, it usually shows a solid red LED followed by a flashing status which indicates that the device is ready for setup. If you can't get your device to indicate the status, then for sure the power supply is at fault here. In such cases, run a thorough check for rust, wear and tear, shafts and any other superficial damage on the power cable and the adapter. If you encounter any such damage, immediately replace the worn-out accessory with a fresh peripheral, preferably from Wise themselves. While you're at it, I recommend that you check your power outlet as well. Switch over to a different power outlet if the current one is faulty. Just be sure to use the power adapter that came in the box or an adapter with similar power output which is 5 watts. Most smart home cameras, including the Vice Cam V4, only work on the 2.4 GHz Wi Fi band. This is because the newer 5 GHz Wi Fi band fares relatively poorly with regards to coverage compared to a traditional 2.4 GHz one. Trying to set up your Vice Cam while operating the Vice app on a 5 GHz band will only prove to be a futile affair. If you're on a 2.4 GHz Wi Fi network and you still can't get your device set up, check if your network is stable. An unstable network can hinder the setup process. You can check the status of the network through a speed testing application like Ookla or by searching for speed test in Google from a device connected to the same network. If the test returns with an unfavorable research with slow speeds and heightened latency, consider refreshing the network through a power cycling test before calling in your service provider. All you need to do is unplug your internet router from the power supply and plug it back in after a minute. Once done, run the speed test once again and see if the results have fared better. If everything seems fine now, you can continue with your setup process. Your voice camera requires a couple of permissions from your phone to be set up properly like your phone camera and nearby devices access. Even though the Wise app informs you of the necessary permissions as you progress through the setup process, I recommend that you enable and grant all the required permissions all at one go if you're facing issues during setup. On iOS, just go to the settings page on your phone and scroll down to the all apps list and select the Wise app. Toggle on the necessary permissions and you're good to go. On Android, tap and hold the Wise app icon and then tap on the i icon to enter the app info page. Tap on permissions and enable the ones listed. And that's pretty much it. If the fixes that I mentioned so far didn't seem to work for you, you can always restart the whole thing by factory resetting your Wise camera. All you need to do is press and hold the setup button at the bottom for about 10 seconds while powered on. Wait for the device to show a solid red LED and then a flashing LED status indicating that it's ready for setup. And with that, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about regarding a situation where you can't set up your Wise Cam V4. If you found this video useful, consider leaving your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting Wisecam content like this.